Um, given that you finished outside the top four last season and you're challenging for the title, um, Newcastle, given where they are, do you expect them to be challenging for the title next season? I don't know. <laughs> is, is, is there, looking at how they, how they perform this season, is there capacity there? The points gap is not big. But they perform really well this season, you know, and uh, and they deserve to be where they are, and, uh, and we have done the same. But the uh, next season will be something, in my opinion, completely different. So I don't know. But given given that they are state-owned, like Manchester City, is does, does this season feel like it's the almost the best chance for a club like Arsenal, which isn't state-owned, to to win a title? That this it's, it's this is the best time. The next year is going to be it is the best time because this is the moment right now, and the best time is when you have something, try to take, especially in elite sports, because you don't know when you're going to have another opportunity, and that's what we are trying to do. That's why we go to Newcastle to try to win the game and and continue to be there. Can um, Arsenal this summer and in the future compete with teams like Newcastle and Manchester City in the transfer market, or have you got to be smarter? Uh, we have to compete with those teams, that's for sure, because we are Arsenal for club demands are to be the best in everything that, that we do, so we have to find a way to do that. Um, and just, just to say, the, the referee on Sunday will be Chris Kavanagh, um, who was the referee for the Bournemouth game, which obviously had a, had a good ending for you, but there were a couple of penalty decisions which didn't go your way, and he also made an issue of the celebrations of Reese Nelson's, <coughs> Reece Nelson's goal. I mean, looking back on that now, how do you, do you feel about that? And if, if you score a 97th minute winner on Sunday, is it... Celebrate how you like. <laughs> I've seen quite a few this season, and uh, I think it's good. Even when, when I'm watching TV, another team scores on the 97th, and they celebrate like that, they should do, because this is uh, the beauty of this sport. It's about emotions, about winning, and when you have the chance to do it, do it. Mark? I'm go. A lot's been made this season about uh, the signings of Gabriel Jesus and Alex Inchenko, adding that new mentality, if you like, to, to the squad. But from the defeat of Newcastle last year until this year, what will, what will someone like Granite or Martin bring that they potentially didn't bring last year? I think it's the collaboration of, of the players and um, and how they connect with each other and and then finding the right balance between leadership, between experience, between youth, between um, never experiencing something and doing it for the first time. And I think we have a good mixture of it. Um, can we evolve? Can we get better at it? That's for sure is a yes. And uh, that's where we are. Earlier in the season, a few of us spoke to Aaron Ramsdale. He said last year that the Tottenham and the Newcastle defeats were really painful and that they, the players don't want to go there again. So in that regard, is that a good way to say to them on Sunday, look, you felt like this before, let's not, let's not have that again? Well, we felt like this and then when we went to Tottenham, we won the game. So we are capable of doing it, but we have to show in the pitch. Okay, finally, James. In terms of whether you go on to win the title or not, <coughs> When the fission finishes, we will know where we are. Uh, but certainly, I wouldn't use those words. So, even if you finish second, you, you might not tell us, but you still think this is going to be a successful season. Going into next season, like Dan said, with Newcastle potentially coming up, Manchester United might fight, go big in the summer, and even Chelsea with a new manager. It's going to be a lot more difficult. To, um, yeah, do you think? Is this the time to really win the title and then build for next season, hopefully go on to more success? From my experience, 22 years here, I think this has been the most difficult league uh, that I have lived with and I've been participating. And next season looks like it's going to be even harder, but I don't know. But for sure, this one, uh, with four games to go, I'm telling you that is the hardest I have ever been involved. Okay, Bob, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.